Good morning, everybody. It's Friday, 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 the 26th of July. I hope you're having a fantastic morning. I'm Brett, your thankful carnivore, with this morning's thankful carnivore report. I want to thank all of you wonderful people who've been following me across all my social media. It's thankful.carnivore at Instagram, thankful carnivore on Facebook. And on Twitter, where the savage meat eaters run wild. It's Stick Man Bleeding. It's S T I C K M A N B L E E D I N. Don't add the G. Listen, I want to talk to everybody about the importance of being honest. I am a huge fan of one Dr. Jordan Peterson. And something that he advocates that I am a huge supporter of is the notion that we should always tell the truth, or at least not lie. And it is so incredibly important, especially when we're dealing with ourselves. We lie to ourselves, we create excuses for ourselves, we can justify our most unjustifiable choices and behaviors by being dishonest to ourselves. We can lay, lay the blame at the feet of mom and dad. We can lay the blame at the feet of our genetics. The bad roll of the genetic dice lie. We can blame the bad, the doctor. We can blame emotional eating, depression, anxiety, insomnia for all sorts of issues, arthritis. But those aren't the reasons why we made bad choices. We don't get a pass from the consequences of our bad choices because we're suffering from an ailment. I got this many passes for making poor choices and decisions when I was depressed. It's just the truth. I had to suffer all the consequences of every bad decision I made while I was mentally ill. Nobody else was going to suffer those consequences for my poor choices but me. And that has not changed since my depression and anxiety and insomnia all went, bye-bye, it's all gone, bye-bye, see ya. Because I started eating meat and drinking water 375 days ago. My point is, people, we can waste time and energy on making excuses, on lying to ourselves, on justifying the unjustifiable. Or we could take that energy and be a little wiser with it and examine ourselves. What am I doing I know I should not be doing? What am I saying that I know I should not be saying? Am I telling people I could do things for them I cannot do? Am I giving people false hope? Am I unintentionally misleading somebody? Am I intentionally misleading somebody? Am I promising more than I know I can deliver? That's a better use of that energy, in my opinion. In my opinion, take the time and the energy that you would spend making excuses and redirect it toward making the appropriate changes that you need to make to get yourself on the right path. Now, honesty is a bitch. Nothing offends people more swiftly than the truth. It's always been that way. It's always going to be that way. So it's important to couch what you truth you have to share in love, charity, and kindness, and respect. Don't use it as a weapon. Use it as a tool for teaching. 
take these thoughts and apply it to your nutritional life. You know what you're putting in your mouth, whether it's good for you or not. You know this. I don't need to tell you. Nobody needs to tell you. You know. And you're fully capable of choosing correctly or incorrectly. And you're going to bear the responsibilities. So do yourself a huge favor. No more lies to yourself. No more wasted energy on excuses. Hardcore, offensive honesty. And see what happens. Give it a try. Might be a change for the better. Listen, I hope everybody here has a beautiful weekend. Eat your meat. Drink your water. Never give up. Never surrender. And always remember, my friends, be thankful.